Hey again, welcome to the Tori Cam course. In that course, we're gonna talk about how can we handle that kind of product and manufacturing process. As you can see that I created some toolpath here. This is my toolpath tree. So you can use the plus button to see every details about our toolpath. Like this. And this is first toolpath we have. This is on the face toolpath and I use some degree while I am creating my and toolpath. If you use the double click on your toolpath properties, you're gonna see the some window like this. So you can see that I select my and geometry by using the part based boundary options. After that, I can create my and profile by using the new button. If you push the show button, you can see the all my profile. After that, of course, I need to create my tool. This is my tool. I can turn to library, tool library. It is quite easy to select your tool. Okay, this is Antmill tool. Okay, and without any radius, of course. This is 16 millimeter diameter. You can also turn to data. In the data type, you can write your feed rate and cutting speed. Of course, according to and your tool diameter and cutting speed, you can easily calculate your spindle speed. Okay, you're gonna see the that kind of spindle speed in your G code. You can also see your feed rate. This is my feed rate according to only wanted. I need to multiply that values with four if you have four fluid in your tool. Also, I need to multiply with that values my RPM. After that, it's easy to calculate my feed rate. We can also see only feed rate values in our and G code. Okay, you don't need to worry about all that stuff. Just turn to your and tool library. According to your materials, you can write your cutting speed and your feed rate. And of course, according to only it. After that, our real feed rate and spindle speed, I mean RPM, is gonna calculate by solute cam. After that, you can see in your C code. Okay, this is level section. This is my step over parameters. So that's all. You just need to push calculate button and you're gonna see your toolpath. We can also see our simulation like this so if you see and everything is fine you can turn to G code process if I am pushing that button we can only see and only about and that process if you use select and that part operations and G code all options and generate you can get all that G code, okay? So you can see that I have some um, issues about my CAM part settings, okay? So what else? And this is another part, is the same process. We can also see some drilling process like this. This is another drilling operation. This is my centering operation, of course. This is my drilling operation. You can also see surface high speed toolpath here. Okay, this is 3D operation. We can use the lollipop tool here. Okay, let me show you my tool like this. We can select our geometry. This is my drive surface. I don't need to select any 2D boundary here and selecting my tool and my toolpath like this so that's fine okay you just need to select your drive surface this is my of course technology side parallel cuts constant set operation okay if i am turned to that process this is surface high speed toolpath and options here 
you can also see and that one this is another process in that case we can select and profile this is my profile one this is my profile two and of course this is my selected face it's a drive surface so my tool and following my drive curve after that you're gonna see our tool path like this that one and that one is the same perspective but in that case we just select face so this is my drive surface and this is my and curve surface maybe and intersection of that two face we're gonna see an another curve so it's the same perspective so and in that case I just click on my curve in that case we just select our face is the same so this is my drive surface and of course this is my and face so after that the intersection and about that two faces we're gonna see our drive curve so okay yeah in that case of course it is not necessary when we can also select our curve but and if you are thinking about a different perspective maybe and there is no any and an intersection maybe that curve and that face and that face so in that case maybe and you have to turn to that process so that's why you can see the different and similar options in SolarCam. most of the time it is not possible to select and that's kind of age this is surface icp toolpad and i'm gonna show you how can i handle that kind of and product you can also find that product in and um, google drive i'm gonna push right mouse button send to and folder options in the folder options and you can see all my examples I'm gonna all I'm gonna put all that examples in the drive you can download it and maybe you can try to understand what I did exactly after that video maybe you can delete all of them after that you can create your own and um, toolpath operations thank you very much for listening to me I really appreciated your interest and you can also see our Udemy and this is our Udemy course and solid camp professional process you can also see the link if you would like to join us you can see and you can be able to reach all that stuff you can also see and downloadable examples here all that video about solid camp for example we can see the 2d mini cooperation example I mentioning and surface high speed roughing process and you can also see some finishing 3d surface high speed machining toolpad for finishing boundary machining rest machining we can also talk about surface high speed toolpad exactly the same and process for example and high speed parallel cuts constant Z to curve options projection user defined you can also see that this kind of and examples here and I just created 10 of them but I'm gonna keep going on that process you can also see the four and five axis operations and in that case we can only see and the five axis milling process okay I, I split that part because you can see the two plus one axis and that one actually simultaneous five axis and the most of the time of course but that part you can use three or two or three and plus one axis it's also possible to organize that kind of things okay maybe you should join us you can see the links and here Okay, I am really appreciated your interest. Thank you very much for listening to me. I am really appreciated your interest.
Take care.